promised to make some videos about math, and the idea I want to do is the idea I'm always talking about, that math is not a series of formulas to memorize, that math makes sense, and it doesn't need to be memorized, just understood. Okay, some things need to be memorized, some things need to be practiced, but first, understand, then practice. So, um, I've talked about this before in one of my longer videos, so many people have not seen it. Let me start with many of the many, many things that people think you just memorize in math and that makes no sense or may make sense, but not really, just it's okay, as opposed to the crazy stuff in math that makes no sense. This one, first one, doesn't usually upset people. So I'm talking about why is 1 over 0 <laughs> undefined? Look at that handwriting. Man, that is quality. Why is 1 over 0 undefined? So I always ask my students this, and most recently, um, usually people say something like, you're not allowed to divide by 0, or you can't have 0 in the denominator, which is just repeating the rule. It is not explaining why this is a rule at all. And again, the point is rules are not arbitrary. Rules have meaning. That is, they come from something. There's some reason why this rule is here. There are very few things in math that are completely arbitrary. There are some. Few. And by completely arbitrary, I mean they're just an agreement on what we do. I'll talk about one of those in a second. But this one is not. This one just makes sense, and it's quite simple, if one understands the basic idea of division. So let's do a simpler case to do division. For some reason, I always do this pair of numbers. 6 divided by 2. What's 6 divided by 2? Now, you could say to yourself, well, that's 6 pizzas and 2 people, and how many people, how many pizzas does each person get? And you could sort of picture 6 pizzas in your mind and, and break them up and do all that. But did you? Did you really do that? Or did you just say to yourself, the answer is 3? But how did you know the answer is 3? Because you have your division tables memorized? No, it's because you have your multiplication tables memorized. And that is the point. Division is really just undoing multiplication. So 6 divided by 2 equals 3 because... 2 times 3 is 6. This is asking. 6 divided by 2 means 2 times what number is 6? That's what it means. That's what it's always meant. And so when you ask yourself, what 6 divided by 2? You do, and honestly, you really did it just so quickly that you didn't realize it. You said 2 times what is 6? 3. So now the answer to this is simple. The question is 0 times what is 1? And the answer is nothing. Zero times anything is zero, and hence it's undefined because there is no answer. It's not some arbitrary rule. It's not some crazy crap that mathematicians just do to torture you. It's a fact. Now, the reason why it's important to hang on to that one is not actually for 1 over 0 because students will often tell me that 1 over 0 is undefined for a simple reason. That is, if you had one pizza divided up by zero people, you couldn't do it because you'd have this one pizza and nobody to give it to. It's already not making sense to me a little bit, but I can see their point. But then, what about 0 divided by 0? By that logic, this should be acceptable, because if you have 0 pizzas and 0 people, it should be no problem, I think. I mean, like I said, it's already kind of vague to me. But 0 divided by 0 doesn't make sense. It's also undefined, but not for the same reason. The same understanding of division as multiplication, undoing multiplication, is the key to understanding this. But it's a different conclusion. What I mean is this. You're asking yourself this question. Zero, there it is, zero times what is equal to zero? Answer, lots of things. In fact, every number. Zero times any number is zero. So the problem here is not the same as one over zero. One over zero is undefined because there is no such number. Zero times what is one? Nothing. This one's undefined for an opposite reason. Everything is the answer. In, the, in mathematics, we need to have things have a function, technically. A function needs to have one answer. You plug in a pair of values here, and you get out an answer. It's a binary operation, technically. Division. It needs to have one answer. This one doesn't. 1 over 0 doesn't either. 1 over 0 has no answers. 0 over 0 has too many answers. It is undefined for that reason. We have to pull it out of the domain, technically, so that it will not ruin the idea of division. Why do we insist on that? Actually, we don't. Sometimes we are, as we get more abstract, we can allow things to have more than one answer. But that's getting out there. And we certainly don't want that with basic arithmetic. With basic arithmetic, one pair of numbers, one answer. Six divided by two, one answer. Seven divided by six, one answer. A billion divided by negative 1.75354, one answer. Zero divided by zero, no answers because there's too many that would fit. So, out. 
And that's really all there is to it. That's all there is to it. And mathematics is like this. Mathematics has reasons for virtually everything it does. Now, when I say virtually, I want to at least point out one thing that is a sort of arbitrary decision. And that is when you are graphing on a coordinate axis pair, which actually a student just pointed out to me, usually you should only have arrows there. There we go. I didn't know that. Um, so uh, I'm not so good at drawing. So um, the axis pair. Usually, this thing is the x-axis, and this is the y-axis. Why? How come this can't be the x, and this the y? Is that, is that visible? So now I've written this is an x, and this is a y. The opposite of the way we usually do it in math. Why not? Is there a reason? Actually, there isn't. It's an agreement. It's an agreement we've all made to put x's and y's here. And by we all, I don't mean everybody, because there is one group that doesn't do this. They do it the other way. They do it just like this. They have their x here and their y here. That is, their dependent is here and their independent is here. Oops, there and there. The y is the the y is still the dependent. The x is still the independent. But they put their dependent. That is the one that you take an x and you get a y. That one's over here, and they're called economists. Why do they do this? Why do they make us suffer so with their demand and supply curves? I don't know, just because it's arbitrary. And they decided to go the other way. And that's the way they've always done it. So that's the way they do it. And we should be used to that. So there are some decisions that one just has to decide. Well, let's decide this. And if everybody goes along with it, great. And if they don't, they don't. But that's not like 1 divided by 0. And it's not like 2 to the 0 equals 1. Those things are there for a reason. Not an arbitrary decision, but because they're the only thing that makes any sense. There you go. And, and, and I'll try to do more of these as I come up with more of them. 2 to the 0 equals 1 will be the next one.